हेलो गाइड्स वेलकम टू मेडिसिन मेडिसिन सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज विटामिन डी इट्स स्ट्रक्चर फंक्शन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एब्सॉर्प्शन एंड रिलेटेड डिसऑर्डर्स सो विटामिन इज एल्सो नोन एज कैल्सिफेरॉल बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स रोल इन कैल्सियम मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल एज रेटैटिक फैक्टर बिकॉज इट प्रिवेंट्स रोकेट्स सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्ट्रक्चर द गिवन स्ट्रक्चर यू हैव सींग इज दैट ऑफ द वन टू फाइव डे हाइड्रो कॉलिगल्सिफेरॉल ठीक है सो दिस इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस स्ट्रक्चर एट ऑल जस्ट जस्ट यू हैव टू नो कि विटामिन डी इज अ स्टेरल कम्फर्ट देर आर टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ द विटामिन डी इज नेचुरली प्रोड्यूस विटामिन डी थ्री कल्सिफेरॉल सो नेचुरली प्रोड्यूस इज अ विटामिन डी थ्री और यू कैन कॉल इट एज कोल ए कैल्सिफेरॉल सो वेन द कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज डिहाइड्रोजिनेटेड डिहाइड्रोशन ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल हैपन्स एंड इट फॉर्म्स द सेवन डिहाइड्रो कोले कैल्सिफेरॉल देन ऑन द एब्सॉप्शन ऑफ द यू वी लाइट और सन लाइट इट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द कैल्सिफेरॉल विटामिन डी दिट इज नेचुरली ऑप्टेंड विटामिन डी ठीक है दिस इज द नेचुरली ऑप्टेंड विटामिन डी सो then you you can you can also obtain the artificially formed from artificially obtained vitamin from the plant known as ergosterol and the artificially obtained vitamin D is known also is known as the algo calciferol is known as the absor- absorption is considered if vitamin D is absorbed in the duodenum and transportation occurs through the liver towards the liver by the through the or by the, or through the chylomicron because it is attached to the lipids so lipid chylo micron is the kind of lipid so now we are going to see the activation of vitamin d so vitamin d is activated cholecalciferol is the active form hai na so it needs to for the metabolism to produce the active form from the vitamin 125 dihydro cholecalciferol is also known as calcitriol is the active form of vitamin d the steps involved in the activation are so here is the cholecalciferol that is vitamin d 3 this is the cholecalciferol you know this is the uh, vitamin d that is naturally obtained it is the it goes into the liver it goes into the liver and the, by the using of the enzyme 25 hydroxylase 25 hydroxylase hydroxylase it is converted into the 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol it is converted into the 25 hydroxy cholay calciferol ha na so now 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol is goes towards the kidney and by the, and in the kidney there is a one enzyme known as the one alpha hydroxylase it converts the 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol into the 1 to 5 dihydroxy cholecalciferol that is active form of vitamin d so it goes into the kidney and by using the enzyme one alpha hydroxylase one alpha hydroxylase it is converted into the One to five, the cholecalciferol, dihydroxy cholecalciferol. So this is the active form of vitamin D. It is the active form of vitamin D. So this is this in this way the activation of the vitamin D occurs in the duodenum as well as liver and the kidney and now we are going to see the by through sources we are getting vitamin d in our body so we can get vitamin d from cod liver oil fish oils sunlight egg yolk as well as liver these are the sources of vitamin d these are the major sources of vitamin d now we have seen the activation of the uh, uh, vitamin d into the calcitriol this is the 1 to 5 dihydroxy dihydroxy cholecalciferol is active form of vitamin d so in uh, we are going to see the metabolism transport and functions of the vitamin d now so 
as far as we have seen the uh, activity activation and transport in uh, now i am going to cover all this in the one diagram okay so first of all cholesterol cholesterol is a converted to the seven hydroxy seven dihydro cholesterol seven dihydro cholesterol and then by the using the uv light it is converted to the cale cholecalciferol cole calci ferrol this this all the events occurs in the skin hena now this the cholecalciferol is uh, goes into the liver so this one goes into the liver and liver by using the enzyme as i have earlier considered that is a uh, 25 hydroxylase 25 hydroxylase it is cholecalciferol is converted to 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol 25 hydroxy hydroxy cole calciferol ha no so the 25 cholecalciferol from the liver goes towards the kidney and it is converted into the 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol that is the calcitriol is active form in of the vitamin d by the enzyme 1 alpha hydroxylase 1 alpha hydroxylase right this we have already seen this is the transportation of the vitamin d that is cal calcitriol this formation of calcitriol transport of the uh, cholesterol in the our body so this is the, the uh, this 125 dihydroxy cholesterol is the calcitriol that is active form of the vitamin d so this calcitriol is absorbed into the bones as well as in our uh, uh, tissues so now we are going to see the what actually happens to this uh, calcitriol is how how it works so the action of the calcit calcitriol in the on the intestine so this uh, calcitriol goes towards the intestine hai na this one you can call it as the intestine intestine this is intestine so in the intestine it increases the plasma calcium and phosphorus concentration by stimulating the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from the intestine by enhancing the synthesis of calcium binding proteins cal bindings so in the intestine it increases the synthesis of proteins cal bindings so it increases the synthesis of protein cal bindings okay okay this occurs in the intestine now uh, दिस इज द ब्लड के ब्लड में क्या क्या है कैल्सियम है अपना और क्या है फॉस्फरस सो इंटेस्टाइन इंक्रीज द कैल्सियम सो फॉस्फरस सो इट इज इंक्रीज इन द ब्लड सो ना एक्शन ऑफ द कैल्सिट्रॉल सो इंटेस्टाइन एब्सॉर्प्शन बढ़ाया तो कैल्सिट्रॉल कहाँ पर बढ़ जाएगा हमारे ब्लड में सो ब्लड में कैल्सियम बढ़ने से क्या होता है एक्शन किस पे करता है हमारे बोन पे it is believed that the calcitriol acts on the bone in both anabolic and uh, catabolic role okay so cal calcitriol in the bone promotes the mineralization of the bone by deposition of calcium and phosphorus so uh, the, the calcium and phosphorus from the blood this is the phosphorus phosphorus from the blood and calcium it causes mineralization into the bone this is the mineralization okay it causes mineralization of the bone well, along with the pt stimulate the mobilization of calcium and phosphorus from the bone by stimulating the synthesis of osteocalcin a calcium binding protein in the bone this causes elevation of plasma calcium and phosphorus levels so hormone pt hormone this causes the demineralization of the bone and causing calcium and phosphorus to goes into the blood so this is the way the uh, calcitriol along with the ptage acts on the bone in both catabolic as well as anabolic way okay so this is the action transport metabolism function of the 
हमारा कैल्सिट्रॉल सो वी हैव सीन कि दिस इज हैपन्स इन द लिवर एंड दिस वन इज द किडनी राइट so along with this we were going to also explain what what are the effects of calcitriol into the uh, in our kidney okay so in kidney it causes stimulate the reabsorption of calcium and phosphorus from the kidney and decreases their ex ex excretion so it causes the reabsorption of the calcium and phosphorus and and decreases their and their, their excretion so uh, now very important is nutritional requirement so in our body we can say the nutritional requirement of the vitamin is about 200 to 400 iu 200 to 400 international units this is the requirement of requirement of vitamin d to our body deficiency manifestations of the vitamin d so deficiency of vitamin d causes rickets in the uh, in the growing children and uh, and osteomalacia in the adults so rickets is characterized by the uh, formation of soft and pliable bones like this bones bent and deforms large head with the protruding forehead pigeon's chest and bow legs also known as kyphosis asthmatic children are usually anemic and prone to infections so these are the characteristics of rickets in the growing children and we have already told you that ki osteomalacia is the uh, def- uh, is the deficiency occurring disease in the adults so what happens in the osteomalacia osteomalacia is similar that kind of the rickets osteomalacia is characterized by demineralization dif- of the previously formed bones demineralization of bones and makes them soft and susceptible to fracture this is the osteomalacia in the adult this osteomalacia hai na we have seen rickets now osteomalacia what is the renal rickets what is renal rickets you, you, you will ask in chronic renal failure synthesis of calcitriol in kidney is impaired so as a result deficiency of calcitriol occurs which leads to hypocalcemia and hyper hyperphosphatemia it can be treated by oral and intravenous administration of calcitriol that is active form of the vitamin d uh so this is the deficiency there is also talk ki extra jab vitamin vitamin d hamare body mein aata hai it causes the hypovitaminosis of d the early symptoms of vitamin d include the nausea here i am writing nausea this is the symptoms of the hypermino hypervitaminosis then then there is a vomiting anorexia and loss of weight these are the important loss of weight these are the characteristics of the hypervitaminosis but uh, hypervitaminosis is a rare case okay so there is also one disease that is vitamin d resistant rickets you can also consider the vitamin d resistant rickets so what is the the name implies that the disease is which does not respond to treatment of vitamin d it causes the vitamin d resistant rickets so guys uh, vitamin d ko hum hormone bhi bol sakte hai rather than the vitamin why because uh, we have seen ki it is synthesized in the body right then it is released in circulation obviously it has a different target organs that is kidney liver hai na different target organ action is related to steroid hormones so this is why the vitamin d is also called as a hormone rather than the vitamin hello please comment below like subscribe okay thank you for watching video please like and subscribe thank you